Stars in the sky. Hello, my name is Jamie with mytarot.org. And um, so I've been reading for a real long time. And often I ask somebody, what is your favorite deck? What is your favorite deck? What is your favorite deck? And so I've been hearing a lot about this deck. And people are going to be like, oh, you don't already have a copy of that? And you have 120 decks? It's like, well, yes, I don't have a copy of this. So I know nothing about this. I started taking off the, the wrapping. I just got it. And um, it's the Lightseer's deck by Chris Ann. So I decided I might as well do an unwrapping because I've heard so much about this one particular deck. So let's see here. So I haven't looked at it all. I just unwrapped it and made that decision real quick. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have here. Doop, 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 doop. So here we are with the deck, and then we've got our nice little guidebook. Okay, so. Um, and it definitely looks like a guidebook. Um, I'm devoted to my correctedness, and I celebrate the wonder of loving bliss with my community. So it's got little quotes in here. Okay. This is nice. Light seers, shadow seer. So I presume that is for reversal. So this is a very thick book. I'm actually looking forward to going into this. Um, oh. And we have something on the inside. And into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars. And there, in a sunlit hollow, we lose and find what is ours. Wow. Okay. So. Oh, there's a little band around it. So let's pop that. Oop, da da. So. My eternal quest is always for decks that. I can read as reversals because a lot of these decks that I have, um, <laughs> the backings, you can't tell if they're upright or, you know, you can tell exactly what they are. Um, and it's very frustrating um, because when I do a reading, it's kind of like this. See that star right there? See the flower? Pff, star. See the flower? So I'll know that this is reversed unless it's like this. And I... When I read, I like the secret. I like to not know what's in front of me. So, okay. So let's see this. Okay. So we have the fool. Okay, I like this. She's holding a crystal. We have the magician. Oh, I've seen this magician before. Okay. So it's interesting. It doesn't have cups, wands, uh, the baton, all the other thing that you normally have. But he does have a lamb escape. Okay. And that's that's fine. You know, I, I know the cards well enough. The high priestess. Um, so this card is oh shoot. Did you see what I had there? Okay, here. The lamb escape, all that. But the high priestess is not reflecting what you would normally see with the Rider Waite Smith or the original Marseille, but you can still see the essence, which is that going inside and, and finding that knowledge inside ourselves, seeking out the knowledge. The Empress, which is very nice. So the Empress, this is the, uh, the Earth Mother card. The Emperor. So he's got a chess piece here showing the king. Uh, we've got the Ram here for uh, Aries, which ties into the, uh, the astrology. Okay, so I'm starting to see one thing that I really like about this is I was looking for another um, multicultural deck. I have, I'm trying to remember the name of the other one, um, but Madame Ansa did a wonderful deck um, that's multicultural, but I, I'm liking this, so the Hierophant, and so he's got the, 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 the uh, triple... Uh, triple crown cross whatever it's called it's got that and we can see that it's going you know uh it's spirituality and going up which sometimes i see the the hierophant as being more strict more about rules and things like that so the lovers uh which i see is about choices so i i'm looking forward to looking through the book because there's definitely their own take on these cards 
strength. I really dig strength where we can see the lion half coming out. So this is that internal strength that we have, but it's not this physical strength to be afraid of. It's it's that internal strength that we seek. And I really like this a lot. The Hermit, great for going up and uh, seeking that wisdom, seeking knowledge. The Wheel, that's interesting. We have a person who's on top here. We've got dice because we're rolling the dice. Um, so this is a really cool take on it. Justice. This justice is awesome. This reflection of justice with the swords, with the, the scales. Okay, this, this is an awesome card. Okay, I can see why people really get into this. So the Hanged Man, we have somebody who is um, uh, trapeze. Uh, I'm not sure what you call it with the scarves. But, so I'm really liking this. But acceptance, I mean, uh, the Hanged Man is about acceptance and sacrifice. Um, obviously, she's seeing things in a different way. Um, death and rebirth. Okay, that's cool, too. That's cool. So there's, there's kind of like, I don't know if you've noticed, you know, I just, that is very creepy right there when looking at the rest of it. It's almost like a talon. But this is beautiful. Temperance, which is balancing. So we have the earth, uh, the moon and the sun. Ooh, interesting. And they're, they're sharing their, their orbits, their, uh, it's it's an interesting take on it and about finding balance the devil so we see a person as a puppet so that's kind of cool so when I see the devil this is the harms we do to ourselves or others the tower the lightning struck tower so this one is easy for me when I'm when I'll be reading because I can see that you know it's almost like we have the squirrel here we have the lightning coming in and it's affecting the butterflies and the lightning is actually to me when I see this is like um, originally this card was called Le Maison Dieu which is the house of God it's the lightning struck tower and it's about truth and it's about how truth can tear things down the star which is hope and it's also I like how it can be our guide the moon so we have the two dogs we have our moon but instead of an al you know the uh, the crab we are in the water floating which is almost like a dream like state so the moon is walking through our fears trusting um, using our instincts so that's interesting the sun and the sun to me is the happiest card in the deck and we have this person dancing um and yes the sun's rays are obviously just affecting everything and then we have judgment so judgment is the karma card you you reap what you sow and here's the enlightenment moving from one uh one form to another you know that spiritual projection so that's interesting and then we have the world. And I'm sure these all have specific meanings. Not sure what it is. But we do have the Ouroboros. We have the snake eating its tail. And we have somebody who's obtaining that uh, enlightenment. You know, the world is when we have finally completed something. You know, and it's almost time to pretty much say, you know what? We've done it. It's about time to start over again. You know, but that's that's this positive this positive reflection. So let's see. So we have the wands, which I'm just going to kind of flip through here. Wands are fire and energy, and four of wands celebrating. Five, we see the conflict. That's interesting. Then we have the cups. So this is a, going to be a great deck to read with. And now I'm starting to really kind of understand where people are coming from. Then we have the swords. 
which it's not the number of swords. I'm, I see the number of birds here and seven. So, oh, is it the number? It's the number of birds. Oh, that is super interesting. Look at this deck. Wow. Because birds, you know, swords are the element of air. They're thought and ideas. So that is beautiful. Then pentacles or coins. This is beautiful and amazing. Okay, I can see why this deck is so popular. So I am definitely going to incorporate this into my regular spreads because I have been hearing a lot about this deck and I am fascinated by this deck now. Um, I guess there's a reason why I kept hearing about it. So the cards itself, uh, they are feeling pretty firm. They feel good. Uh, so it's definitely a good quality. Comes in a nice box. Um, you know, I mean, I'm just going to have to say that this is probably going to be uh, one of my new favorites because it is so well done and it is so representative of all the people around us. Um, and so with that, I'm just going to say that I am looking forward to doing some readings with the Lightseer tar Lightseer's Tarot. Um, and I am fascinated by it. And I could do a follow-up later on about how it reads and my thoughts with it. Um, leave your comments. Subscribe if you like the channel. Let me know what you think about this deck or if you have any other decks that I should get to review. So with that, thank you so much and take care. On top of everything else, have an amazing day.